welcome again to this presentation number two of uh, identifying the herbs. And uh, in herb, herb identification, you need to be very keen on noting the venation, the rooting system, the stocking system, um, and also the flowering, the, the flowering stages. And you need to know them when they are in wet areas or dry areas. This will help you to identify the right plant. That's why I'm sharing the photos to make sure that you are able to identify them well. Another thing that I want to make is that uh, this presentation is for education purposes. It helps you to know what you are supposed to do, but not to replace the, the doctor's advice or going to visit a doctor for any, any checkup. Now, another thing that I want to mention is that these herbs work effectively if we follow God's divine health plan. And that is taking good, uh, good food, that is plant-based diet, resting as required, and having temperance in your life. Don't overwork, don't underwork, always be active, but don't do excessive work, excessive uh, mental work. You need to be someone who is having self-control. And... Um, Another thing is uh, drink a lot of water uh, to flush out the toxins. You have to be in the sun to increase, in increase circulation of blood as well as removing, uh, removing the toxins within your system and uh, the utilization of the minerals within the body. And uh, another thing that uh, is so important that we need to understand is making sure that we trust in divine power. Always make sure that you remember God in all that you do. Spend time with God and God will be able to restore your system. Uh, you need to uh, be someone who is having proper rest. Sleep six, at least seven, six to eight hours in the night and sleep early two hours before midnight and wake early about uh, six hours uh, beginning from 10. Uh, not six hours, but six to eight hours. You need to calculate beginning from the time when you went to the bed. And you need to be a charitable person helping others, thinking about the welfare of others. Don't be selfishness. Selfishness is one of the causes of diseases that we have experienced in, in this generation because that brings the stress. But if we in mingle with, intermingle with, with people, God brings us a peace that has never been there since, uh, since we, uh, we, get, we got into, into the work. And so let's go and look at this hub now. And that is plantain. This is how the plantain looks like. It is a common weed we find everywhere. It is very adversive and does well in wet, uh, wet soils. Areas that receive high rainfall will have a lot of it. It grows within two months. It is already very big. And now we use the leaves, we use the roots, we use the whole plant for the medicinal purposes. You can dry it out and use the powders. And uh, plantain leaf is collected from the plant. We call it Plantago major, which is commonly known as broadleaf plantain and is a popular traditional medicine plant usually recommended to wound healing, skin disease, infection, pain, respiratory complaint, circulatory disorders, digestive disturbances, and reproductive issues and cancer treatment. Some of the medicinal properties we, we use it for is uh, it used to beat pus and septic condition. It helps your lymphatic system to move and remove the toxin. Most of the cleansings that are being done are on the blood vessels, but the lymphatic system has not been cleansed, which is one of the elimination channels. It is great for boils, abscesses, and tumors. We take it as tea, and we can also take it, make a poultice out of the fresh leaves 
or the powders or in a powder form and apply it on the tumor and then it will be able to shrink it from inside and, uh, and sludge off to the blood vessels and then to the elimination channels. Uh, if you want to make a good, uh, a good poultice or plaster, you will put it in your baking tin and cover your baking tin, put it in an oven and then let it bake for about, uh, for about five minutes, remove it, it will be very soft, smash it and you can mix it with cayenne powder and put it on the, pol or on the boil. After three days, it should be able to begin shrinking and removing the, uh, the pus under the, the, uh, in the boil or shrink the tumor or remove the abscess. It is uh, known for its antivenom properties in snake bite. Now, for snake bite, you take it as a tea as well as putting it as a, as a poultice. You need to be very serious with this by drinking copiously. About after two hours, you take a glass of the strong tea or strong decoction of the leaves and um, four times in a day, you'll be able to, uh, to remove the effects of the poison of the snake. You can also use alongside it activated charcoal, taking a table, two tablespoons of activated charcoal in a glass of warm water three times a day. As a strong estrogen action and uh, upon the tissues, it means it, is, it tightens the cells and that is why it is good for hemorrhoids. If you use a doche of it, a doche is made of a strong juice of it and in, put it in a syringe and then inject it into the anal tract. It's able to tighten the nerves. If you take it in, it is going to, to tighten the nerves as well as the, the cells. So that if there is arterial plugs made of uh, cholesterol, it slows them off, it removes them off from the, from the walls and so there will be proper circulation of blood to the cells and the tissues. It has a high drawing effect. That is why if you put it on the skin, it draws, it pulls out the toxins. It's used for inflammation and for its healing abilities, lowers inflammation. It means if you have arthritis, you have gingivitis, you have uh, bronchitis, all the itis, all the diseases that end with itis are inflammatory diseases. It neutralizes stomach acids and helps us to proper gastric actions. Why? Because it, it normalizes the HCL and the peptic acids or enzymes or juices and then puts uh, the, the, the gut in a good environment that is able to, uh, to, to lower the, uh, the proliferation of the H. pylori uh, bacteria. It has milk spectrum properties, therefore aiding in bronchial and lung congestion. It's used in venereal diseases like, uh, like uh, syphilis, gonorrhea, uh, apis simplex. Uh, medicinal properties that we get from this plant is used topically internally for all skin conditions, eczema, dermatitis, and psoriasis. You can make it as a pol as a as a as a salve. A salve is where you use you melt the bee wax and then add the powder form of it, of the dried uh, dried uh, plantain, and uh, after about uh, ten minutes, you'll have to cool your bee wax and then you can apply that on the skin or use oils like. Um, olive oil, uh, you put the powders in it and let it warm a little bit or put it in the sun, it will be able to extract the medicinal properties. And uh, you can also use the butters like the shea butter, the coconut butter, you melt them and then put the, the leaves, the fresh leaves, or you can put the, the powders and let it eat for about five minutes, cool it down, and then you apply it on the skin, any skin problem, be it itching, be it fungal, fungi nail, fun, nails affected with fungus, uh, be it the problem of um, 
be the problem of uh, the ringworms, the papules, uh, the carbon cells is able to remove that. And it treats, it is a great, an, a great eye wash. What you use is crush the juice and put it in as drops in your eyes, able to protect you against glaucoma or cataracts. Uh, plantain leaf contains certain bioactive phytochemicals like biocyanin, plantagenin, and hispidulin. Uh, these flavonoids contain phytochemicals that has potent antioxidant property and also acts as free radical scavengers. That's why it is good for, for cancer. This property helps to heal the wound. And number two, it is hull security property. Plantain leaf extract has an acid lowering effect which helps to prevent ulcer formation in gastrointestinal tract. And it has anti-diabetic effect. It lowers your blood uh, glucose level is a good glucose uh, uh, glucose precursor or glucose glucophage. Uh, if you take it fresh, it is good. If you have a lot of it, make a juice of it and take that three times a day. It will lower your blood sugar levels. Um, it is anti diarrheal. If someone is diarrheing much, you take the the, the you take the that tea made out of it or or take the the juice made of it or a decoction made of it just a cup three times a day it will be able to to help you uh, some herbalists recommend plantain leaf for management of diarrhea treatment with plantain leaf can reduce gastrointestinal motility and higher dose provides a relaxing effect on the gastrointestinal tract this plant leaf can also reduce the intestinal secretion uh, because it has tannins and colloids and flavonoids present in plantain that help with that effect. It has antibacterial, antifungal uh, effects, good for uh, pneumonia, those who are having pneumonia, and um, take it to help. Uh, also, if you have uh, typhoid, amoeba, uh, brucella, brucella uh, even cholera, this is one of the remedies you need to use. If you have problems with the inflammatory reactions in your system, uh, like arthritis, you take a tea of it. You can choose to mix it with other herbs that are having powerful anti-inflammatory effects like stinging nettle, the moringa, um, the dandelion, uh, all that will help to limit the inflammation. And so very good for, uh, for the swelling of the cells and the tissues. It is a pain reliever because of the anti sensitive that it has. It controls the pain symptoms because it also, we have pain sometimes because of acidosis. Acidosis is where the chemical, the toxins in the system mix with the highly uh, acidic blood and then your system is, uh, uh, that, that, that kind of blood will kill a lot of cells. And when you have a lot of dead cells, you'll be having septic buildup or kind of environment. So you'll have a lot of pain or restlessness, or, or, or also swelling in some areas of your system. So it is effective against fatigue condition because of that cleansing uh, effect. Uh, fatigue is associated with tiredness and muscle pain may, due to, may be due to various physical activity. So plantain is helpful in that. It has neurological benefit wherein it acts on the GABA neurotransmitter meeting signals. And it can reduce the scissor attacks, the convulsions. If you have a tincture version of it, you put it under the tongue, it's able to, to relieve uh, that tightness and uh, the, the shocking that is taking place within the, uh, the nerves. You can use it for epilepsy, for multiple sclerosis, for Gaylurex disease, Parkinson's disease, and uh, 
all other strains of the neurological diseases. Uh, it helps to strengthen your urological system. Uh, retention of urine may be due to obstruction of renal ducts leads, that leads to discomfort. Plantain leaf acts as a diuretic due to presence of erodoid compounds and increases the flow of urine. Urine accumulation in the bladder often causes pain. Plantain leaf helps to control these pain symptoms. Also by inhibiting prostaglandin synthesis and acts as an analgesic. It helps in removing kidney stone. Kidney stone is just uh, the pilage of the... Uh, if someone is taking high fatty diet and you also take high salty diet, it is able to coagulate and uh, form kidney stones. They're just cholesterol uh, that are built up that are mixed with the, uh, with the high salt, uh, with the salt in the system, like uh, the calcium salt or the sodium salt, and then it, they accumulate on the kidney. And you can experience sometimes pain on the lower back. Well, plantain leaf tea will be able to, uh, uh, to heat up and uh, make sure that that uh, uh, those stones are removed. Yes, and uh, another thing is kidney uh, is flaxseed tea for your kidney stone. Flaxseed tea is very very effective for uh, for the kidney stone. Another thing good for kidney stone is lemongrass, uh, lemongrass leaf tea. Taking it daily, three times a day. A glass three times a day helps to remove the kidney stone or doing the fermentation on the lower back as well as using uh, using this uh, this plantain it helps someone who was having a kidney who was to go for kidney dialysis when we gave the plantain tea it was able to to help uh, another thing you need to understand is taking um, pineapple juice Pineapple juice is very effective for washing out the kidney. It's good for menstrual issues because it balances the hormones and strengthens the, the, the tissues within the reproductive system. Dosages, it can be used as a leaf extract where it is concentrated. It may be extract uh, power 10 or power 2 or power 20. Uh, what you need to do is, with that, you take 15 meals for uh, four to five times per day. If you make a syrup, a syrup is where you, you heat the leaves into the molasses or you can use it in uh, maple syrup or, uh, or you can use uh, uh, raw honey. It boils for, five, for 10 minutes and then there is a good syrup that you can take just 10 meals twice a day. The plantain leaf tea, where you just boil the leaves or put the leaves in hot water and cover and let it steep for about 20 minutes. Uh, you have to take it two to five times. That is about 6.5 grams, about two tablespoons. And it is effective to treat cutter, common cold, adjuvant uh, pharyngitis. If you have a problem with your uh, pharyngia, uh, uh, in, in your pharynx, uh, you will have to use the leaf tea or decoction. You can use it as a poultice in external application. You just use the powder, depending on the size of the inflammation or inflamed region, you use enough that will be able to cover the inflamed area or make a fermentation uh, made out of it, boil the leaves and put soak, uh, soak a, a cotton towel in that water and apply it on the inflamed area and it will be able to remove the toxins that are built up there. That is all about plantain. There are many, many things that we need to learn concerning these herbal remedies. God says that I have put herbs for the service of man. If we trust in God and follow this, uh, uh, these treatment programs and live healthily, we will be able to fight many diseases. 
And just a bonus point, if you want to live a healthy life in this time we're living, you have to be a good gardener. You must plant garden and grow your foods. And then when you'll be using these remedies, their effect will be very, very quick. God bless you.